Hello, here we go. Welcome to the third channel. Happy birthday, Balamori! <gasps> the series CBB program from the UK, Balamori. Now, what's happening? Why am I filming this video? Hold on. What are we on about? Right, so let's, let's begin. So, because YouTube is not just UK, I, I like to explain what these programs are, and then for older audience, like audiences that are. Uh, Young, no, younger audiences, no, younger than me, and then audiences that pro probably, I don't know, that it's, Richard Herring has seen Battle of Maury, so we're on a good playing field at that end, above me, above, well, above my brother, because I'll explain on that in a minute, but above that way, we're alright, but down that way, I'm not too sure. Now, this year celebrates 20 years of Battle of Maury, and today, uh, they were on, well, it was announced not so long ago that they were going to be, the 30th of September we were going to get series 1 to 4 of Battle of every episode ever. And I was going to sit and watch it. Obviously, it's me. It's me. Sorry if the audio sounds weird on here as well. This is when I was filming the video this morning, the audio sounds weird. So, I do apologise. So, anyway. So, I was going to watch Battle of obviously, it's me. So... They were on this morning, this morning, uh, which I only found out later on. And uh, the episode's not available on on demand yet for me to watch it. And they had Miss Hooley and PC Plum. Now the woman that plays Miss Hooley, which I will get her name, Miss Hooley, because uh, uh, I've got the stuff in here, so I know what the cast are called, and I remember some of the character name. It's Julian Wilson. Uh, she is hung. She's even better than she's in Bal oh. She's improved since Balamori because she was on Balamori and that's like amazing. And then she was on Scott Squad. She was on Scott Squad. That's got it as everything. And by itself, Scott Squad's amazing. Sorry, I'm a weird child. I mean, a weird person. Person. Um. Anyway, so for non-UK viewers, here is a synopsis that Wikipedia gives for Balamori. Battle Mori is a British live action children's program on BBC One, BBC Two and CBBS for preschool children about a fictional small island community of the west coast of Scotland named Battle Mori. Four series were produced between 2002 and 2005 by British East Scotland with 253 episodes made. Right, facts for you. I've been to Battle Mori when I was younger. It's amazing, trust me, it should go. Because no, the place Battle Mori didn't exist as such but all the, but the filming location is there and all the buildings are there and not much has changed 2002 was the year my brother was born so it, it came out the year the month after so my brother was born in august and it uh, came out on the 2nd of september he was born i was born uh, in june 2004 so the 8th of june 2004 which i made a video on my birthday every year over on the main channel tom mason and so this ended in 25th uh, 26th of June 2005, and I've seen all of Battle Murray once before. I've seen it all before, and then because see, because it was such popular, it did its rerun rounds, and it was rerunning all the time, and it was always it was on. So I've seen it. Richard Herring's seen it. Uh, he has children. He was really drunk and over when he saw it. Now, the theme tune is called "What's the Story in Battle Murray." Um, I was going to sing it, but then I thought I'll show you a clip of the theme tune, and I thought. No, there's copyright involved in that, so we're just not gonna go there. But um, I am gonna hum the the uh, and that's what you're gonna get because um, we don't sing on this channel anymore. No, so it was created by Brian Jones Jameson, uh, composed by Foster Patterson, and it was on CBBS. Ooh, we've never done this one before when we're talking about programme, but let's look at reviews. Five star. Still love to watch voices shown even now at age 19. My parents took me to visit where they filmed um, a few years ago. There we go. So, why is Brum so am Brum? Why does I say Brum? Why is Bama Mori so amazing? Why Why? Why? If I, why is Series 4 come on to BBC, uh, BBC iPlayer now? today and I've decided to watch it. Well why not? It's Balamori! You you gotta be joking me. It's Balamori! 
this is what ITV say about Alan Murray because, oh, the official clip of the mum this morning. Um, I haven't got any access to the official clip to be able to show you, so let's read this article from, even though it wasn't even an ITV product, ITV are, are doing the rounds talking about it. What's the story about Murray? 20 years later, I think I might make a documentary about Bala Murray. If you want to see a documentary all about Bala Murray, leave a comment section down below. It is one of the most colourful streets ever as the children show Bala Murray rolls to fame, introducing us to the likes of Ina McCready, Penny Pocket and Susie Sweet. Susie Sweet uh, used to run the uh, sweet shop. Now, two decades after it started, the BBC are celebrating 20 years of Alan Murray by putting all episodes on iPlayer. We're joined by two of the show's stars, PC Plum and Miss Hood Hooley, to reflect on the show's success. There's, there was a clip. There was a clip. And that's all we're getting. That's, that's just all they wrote in the um, article. Right. So, what I need to do is two things. One, finish up this video and have a chat about Balamori and talk about a few facts from Balamori and a little bit. Then I need to do a whole blog post on Balamori on my blog. Um, go to the main channel, Tom Mason, press the video, it'll be in the link there. So I need to do a whole blog post on it and I need to do a... I need, I need to do more on I need, I need to be the, like, Red Dwarf, there's not enough talked about on YouTube for Red Dwarf, so there's going to be more Red Dwarf videos, but Bangamore is scarce. Apart from full episodes that you shouldn't be uploading to YouTube, the BBC will copyright you now because of uh, it all going on the iPlayer, so I just need to be the benefactor of talking about shows when I was younger more than before me, because that's what I normally talk about. The other one that I really liked was Me Too, which was um, uh, which was the, uh, I can't remember what she's called, it's Still Game, but it's her character, uh, that's a whole other programme, which is brilliant, and it's got Chris McCorkin in it, and that's what makes the show even funnier, because he, I don't know. Anyway, so, out of all of the cast members from Bang & Murray, the ones that are still knocking about, like, it, it, like famous-wise, are still in the global fame, is Miles Jupp, who did do a stint of hosting the news quiz, and is, is, is Archie the inventor. And then we have uh, Julia, Julia Wilson, who is in the Scott Squad. I don't know if she does stand-up, because Miles Jupp does stand-up, but I don't know if she's just a comic actor. Because I've not seen her in anything else, but that might be my own ignorance. Let's see what else she's been in, actually. Just in case it is my because I've got a feeling it's just my ignorance. Right, what else has she been in? So she was in... Oh! she Because she's Scottish, I mean, I think... My job is the only non non Scott on it, but she was in. I'll tell you what she's in. Here we go, here we go. Bagamori. Chewing the fat. Um West uh, no no I'm not gonna read that because it's hard to pronounce. Uh Scott Squad. I'm just ch chewing off the um reading off chewing off. Reading off the most famous ones and Scotland Unsolved, which must have been a spin off. Is that available on the iPlayer? No. Scotland Unsolved must have been a spin-off that she was going to do with her character from Scott Squad. Because Scott Squad's like a sketch show, but like a sitcom, but like a mockumentary, all in one. Uh, it's more like a mockumentary rather than a sketch show. Uh, so it's, anyway, I'll do a whole video on Scott Squad because that is incredible. Even though my family don't find it funny, but then they see clips of it and think, huh, hilarious. Anyway, so, back to Bangalore. Mori. Bangalore Mori is the invention of the greatest thing ever. So you've got Miss Hooley, who is a pre... Uh, she's a nursery teacher. I'm going to use British terms. So, sorry for all you non-British people, or, or non-people that you... or non-countries that... watching from a country that doesn't use the word nursery. So it's... she's a nursery teacher that teaches the kids and the audience, because she is the main priority, and it's all about her getting into... Um, let's say situations that are easily fixed. She's with the kids, and then you have PC Plum is doing his PC in. Uh, the only difference with this one to me too, which is what you can sort of like compare it to. Me too. All the characters are of children that that go into this um this uh, nurse um 
I wouldn't say nursery because she's more like a babysitter type thing than that. This one, none of the characters have kids, but they're, they all they all sort of they're all friends with Mrs. Hooley, so it all lives from there. And Archie, the event event stuff. Um, uh, what's he called? Uh, uh, see, this is why I've got the list up in front of me, so I can tell you what the artist is called. Because it's driving me around the bend now. Ah, here we are, Spencer. See, see, and Edie McCready is the... She's... I, th I think Edie McCready, if I'm not mistaken, Edie McCready was the... Oh, she was the mechanic. Let's have a look. Uh, Edie McCready... No, no. You don't want to tell me? No? Okay. Anyway, Edie McCready is the mechanic. I'm going to go... I'm going to go ahead and strong and say Edie McCready was the mechanic. There we go. I'm just going to leave, leave you on that for, for, for a go. I'm going to leave you at that. So, Balamori like, has, has survived 20 years for a reason. It's heartwarming and parents can enjoy it as well, not just kids. Because that's, that's what a successful children's show should be. A show that parents and kids can watch together. Bluey is, is a show that parents are happy to watch by themselves. Adam Hills and Josh Whitaker can want to do a podcast about it, but that's a different thing for a different day. So, so Balamori was, it's, it encapsulates the warmness of Scotland and the warmness of these people. So Mrs. Hooley was amazing. Archie, I, I've got to tell you my favourite, Josie Jump. I, I remember there's been two Josie Jump, I've heard there was two different Josie Jump. I was little when this first came out, so I wouldn't have recognised if there was two different Josie Jumps. That's why on my rewatch when it on the thirtieth of but I need to watch it and think. So that's J Josie jumping series one more whoa, whoa, whoa because it's like my brain didn't work in it because it's like when, when actors change so in two point four children it's like a subtle difference so you forget sort of what's what and then and it's the same in like Fresh Prince Bel Air, you forget. Um what's another one? Uh there's others, but they like subtly change it. You know, like the act, they made the action, the actor looks very much similar. So just alter it a little bit. So if you watch it multiple times, you'll notice. But 2.4 children still, I still can't work out which one's which. And it, okay, that's it. Good night, sweet heart. It's more obvious with that one. So I'm, I'm gonna have to learn that. And I think actually the event uh, who lived in the pink uh, castle house. Is the best one. Mouse jump is hilarious. I want to interview Mouse jump. He's on my list of people I want to interview because I want to interview one to talk about the new quiz and two to talk about Balamori. Why would you not want to interview Balamori uh, actors? But it's the, the episodes. I'm going to do a proper review of the show. But this is just me saying happy birthday, 20th anniversary, happy birthday, Balamori. It's incredible, it's amazing, it has everything you want to see in a children's show and I'm going to review this properly in a separate video but I just wanted to get my happy birthdays out there and my excitement across this back on the iPlayer that we can relive the Balamori days um, what else? I originally thought when they were announcing that they were going to add it was for the 100th anniversary of the BBC and they were just putting selective shows on there but the 20th anniversary of Balamori makes more sense Hopefully we get more children's show added to the iPlayer for the 100th anniversary. Uh, hopefully we get like uh, Play School, uh, Jack and Nori, Jack and Nori Jr. Uh, mostly we see stuff like uh, Roy, Rocket Island, um, others like Re the original Raven and Ed and Outcho's Excellent Invention. And all this, we want more classic shows added. Happy birthday, Balamori. What's the story in Balamori? Happy 20th anniversary. Do you want to see me do a Balamori documentary? Leave your like. In, in, leave your thoughts and comments down below. Thank you. Happy birthday, Balamori!